Guys, what's going on? I hope you guys are good. Uh, let's get into some boxing. Now, guys, there's been a lot of criticism of Vasily Lomachenko. Mikey Garcia has come out and said that Vasily Lomachenko doesn't deserve a fight with Tiafimo Lopez. He doesn't deserve a rematch. Um, he basically said that if if uh, Lomachenko goes out and wins a couple of fights to show us that he's not injured and he's back to his best, then maybe a rematch makes a lot of sense. But at the minute, because of the fact that he claimed he had an injury, we need to see him in another one or two fights uh, before he can get back to taking the rematch. Now, I don't think that's possible just because of the fact that I think um, Tiafimo Lopez isn't going to hang around at the 135 pound division. I think Tiafimo is going to make a move quickly. He's going to move up to 140. So there's no way that, uh, you know, Tiafimo is going to hang around. However... There is a lot of fighters. I think Tiafimo is in a great position now where there's a lot of fighters for him to fight. There's a lot of fighters out there that he could potentially fight. There's Haney, there's Garcia, Campbell winner. Uh, you know, there's Javante Davis. So there's a lot of fighters out there uh, for um, Tiafimo Lopez now that he's managed to get the win against Lomachenko. How, so, but I do think that the competitor that Lomachenko is, they're going to try and make that fight right away. Uh, I don't think. Uh, I don't think it's. I don't think it's going to be a case where you know Lomachenko is going to have to prove himself. But possibly, listen, I can see what Mikey Garcia is saying. You know, when these guys get injured and say that we've been injured, uh, he said we know that he's come up on operation. Then surely they should be going. They should be proving them, getting themselves back to the top. Because how do we know that we're gonna, not going to get another guy that's injured in there that's not hundred percent? And you know, next time it might be pay per view. Uh, so is it fair for the fans to pay for a fight? Or for a fight to get announced, or even for the fighter to get paid when he's not one hundred percent. You know, I I feel like when if a fighter is injured, should they should the fight happen just because of the fact that they're getting paid a huge amount of money that's been paid by promoters by fans, you know, on gate and stuff. Uh, obviously, at the minute we haven't got a gate, but if pay per view in, in you know when obviously there's pay per view fights, I just think that um, I think the fighters need to be one hundred percent. Now, fighters never go into a fight without any one hundred percent. They have some kind of niggle, but if it's an injury where it could affect or in, uh, hinder your performance uh, and affect you winning the fight, then you know, it, or have an, have a massive impact on the result, uh, then I do think that you know they need to look into that just because of the fact that you know fans want to see a fair fight. They want to see a guy that's you know healthy, not a guy that's injured. And then when these are a lot of excuses after the fight, I don't think it's a good look for the sport. I don't think it's a good look. To the fans because the fans get peed up they're like we're paying a lot of money and you're going into that fight injured it's not fair you know uh, a bit like the but pacquiao mayweather fight you know pacquiao apparently was injured and he had his uh, shoulder injury and just the fact the fact that peed the fans up because the fans were like what's going on here we're paying a lot of money some people pay thousands and thousands of pounds you know and 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 you know pacquiao was you know he had a sh torn rotator cuff so for me i think when it's big fights like this, I do think that these things need to be looked into just because of the fact that, you know, people are paying a lot of money. Sometimes they'll be, you know, obviously there's no gate at the minute, but when there is, people are paying thousands of pounds to come in and watch pay-per-view. You know, people are spending money and we don't want, we want to see healthy fighters going at one another, not unhealthy fighters um, or guys with injuries. And then after the fight, we get to know that they had a, a, a torn shoulder or whatever. You know, it's just not, it's not... Um, I don't think it's fair for the fight fans that are watching at home. You know, I think fighters should, you know, if there's a set, if there's a if the injury that's going to enhance, uh, affect your, hinder your performance, then I do think that fighters they shouldn't be fighting uh, because fans want to see a fair fight. Um, you know, we had the situation with David Hay and Tony Bellew, where D David Hay was injured and he was, you know, and he went into that fight and it, and it ended up being a um, a bad look just because of the fact that he fought a lot of the rounds with an injury um, and. I just don't think injured fighters should be fighting just because of the fact it spoils the fight, it spoils the show, um, especially when it's the main event and such a big fight where that's done thousands, of, you know, that's done hundreds and thousands of pay per view buys, that's got a massive gate, you know, audience there, twenty thousand etc. Plus fans there, you know, I just think it's unfair for the fans. So, I, listen, I do think I do hear what Mikey's saying. I do think what he's saying has a point. I just think in this case, I don't think that's going to happen. I think Tiafimo is going to want to move up to one forty. Uh, if the fight doesn't get made and if, um, if you know, 
if Lomachenko wants to fight Lopez again, I think he's going to want to do it next. He's going to want to do it right away. He's already told uh, Bob Arum and I think his his manager that he wants that fight right away, and his manager is already pushing to get that fight right away. Um, listen, I think it's a I think it's a it's a great fight. I think I think Lomachenko will obviously look to turn the tables this time. Can he? Tiafimo Lopez is obviously a young, confident guy. He's going to go into the re if he, there is a rematch, he's going to go into the rematch. Very, very confident. I don't know whether Tiafimo Lopez um, believes believes you know he's he's gonna I, I don't know how confident he is because just because of the fact that you know he's been talking down the rematch he doesn't really want the rematch um i don't know why that is i thought it was fairly close fight i think most people had it very close uh and i don't and i i would love to see the fight again tiafimo lopez however doesn't seem like he really wants to wants the fight again uh, i want to see it i'm pretty sure a lot of other boxing fans want to see it uh, there'll probably be a lot of Loma haters that don't want to see it because they don't want they won't want to see Ro Loma get his uh, revenge his loss and they want to see him just lose. So uh, listen, I think I think if you're a true boxing fan, you want to see that fight again uh, because you want to see if Lopez can do it again. And let's not forget, I've always said this: when, the, when there's a favorite, when there's a favorite in a fight, Lomachenko was the favorite. A lot of people are saying, well, if Loma had won, he wouldn't have given Tiafimo a rematch. Loma was the favorite. Loma's the biggest star out of Tiafimo. Maybe not now, but he was prior. Right? So Loma gave Lopez an opportunity. People say Lopez was a champion. No, no. Lo Lomachenko gave Lopez his highest payday. You know, he gave him the opportunity. Now, if Lopez fights Lomachenko again, bearing in mind there's not a rematch clause, then Lopez would be giving Lomachenko the opportunity. Do you understand? But the first fight, Lomachenko gave Lopez the opportunity. He... He gave him his highest payday. You know, it's his highest payday. L L Lopez doesn't earn that kind of money. I'm not sure whether Lopez was Lomachenko's highest payday because of the fact that, you know, we were in a pandemic and Lomachenko was a big star before he fought Lopez or he was making good money before he fought Lopez. So I'm not sure that was his biggest payday. I'm pretty sure that was Lopez's biggest payday. So L for me, Lomachenko gave him an opportunity. Yes, Lopez grabbed it, but I do think that L Lopez should return the favour and not play hard now it's Lomachenko's fault for not having a rematch clause in there why wouldn't you have a rematch clause in there you know I feel that's arrogance and you know and now it's gonna it's biting, biting back on the you know behind because of the fact that he they've not you know had the rematch clause why wouldn't you have a rematch clause is it a case where Bob Arum thinks there's no need for a rematch clause because you know he he's got both fighters and he can make that fight well not necessarily because Tiafimo and his dad are not going to be easy, you know, to convince, and they're they're, they're strong-minded people. They're going to want to. They're going to really want to. They're going to be the A side in the in the in the rematch, and they're going to look to pull Lomachenko's pants down if that fight gets made. In in what I mean by that is that they're going to on the negotiating table. They're going to play very very hard to get. Uh, Lomachenko's going to have to give up a lot because he's not had a rematch clause, so he hasn't got any leg to stand on legally. If he had a rematch clause in place, then. That fight would have to happen, otherwise Lomache Lopez would have legal action taken against him. So I think his complacency, arrogance from Lo Team Loma, uh, not having a rematch clause in there. I think I think you know it's standard to have a rematch clause. You know, uh, I just think it, they should have done, and I think they've now got themselves in a situation where even if they were to start negotiating the rematch, Loma Lopez is in the position of power because Los Lopez can dictate what he wants. He can dictate anything, and, and Lomachenko, if he wants to fight, he's going to have to agree to the terms. Um, and if Lomachenko had a rematch in place, then this, then he wouldn't have to have gone through all of that. You know, when Joshua fought Ruiz, Joshua lost. Joshua had a rematch clause in place, and uh, you know the rematch, the the splits, and everything, and every all, everything about the rematch was already agreed uh, with Andy Ruiz, and Andy Ruiz didn't really have a stand, leg to stand on legally. Uh, whereas if he didn't have a rematch clause in place, then Ruiz could have done what he wanted. Ruiz could have said, no, we're fighting in America. You know, I'm giving you this split. You know, Ruiz could have done what he wanted. But because the rematch clause was in place and the contract, the, the negotiations already had taken place, you know, Ruiz had to accept the clause. He had to accept the contract. So um, I think it was, a. I think Lomachenko, from, I think even if Bob Arum didn't want the rematch clause in there, I think it was a mistake from Lomachenko's part. I think his team and his manager should have insisted for a... Because you never know in a fight, you could get cut. You could get, you know, you could hurt your foot. You know, anything could happen. You could, you know, twist your back where you can't move and you end up losing a fight. And in that case, you've just been now, 
you've lost a fight where you know you're no longer going to be in control of the of the rematch because you've had a freak injury in this case he got beat fair and square but you know anything can happen in a fight remember it's punches being thrown anything can happen so i think it, i think they've let their guard down there and not having a rematch clause even if bob aram is not a believer of rematch clauses team loma should have been aware of that team loma should have definitely had that in there uh, just so if they were to lose because you know were they that arrogant or were they that did they believe they were that the superior fight that they were just going to win because to me that's that's ne that's next level kind of arrogance that is personally but leave your thoughts guys let me know what you think do you think Lomachenko deserves a rematch right away do you think that he needs to work his earn his uh, way back to a rematch do you agree with what Mikey had to say leave your thoughts in the comment section below guys and guys remember to please like share and subscribe to my channel I'll see you guys in the next video